Now if you want to use the surface area and porosity analyzer, you need pure nitrogen gas. So I'll be showing you how to open the nitrogen supply to the machine so that you can use it. You can here see the tubes from here going up and connect to that machine over there. So what we have to start with is opening the, the um, container. Uh, so we twist it counterclockwise, so to this side, to open it. It's open. And then this is the next valve you have to open. Okay, and this is the third valve. The third valve is up here. Like this. And so what you want to do is to have the valve over there reach one bar, which is one black line above the bottom. So around here. So there are already markings on the sorry. There are already markings on the on the wheel as to where you should have the pressure up to. So here you have to open this a bit more and open this valve more after you turn on the machine switch uh, in the back you have the vacuum pump so you, we should turn on the pump before we start the ACP analysis you should turn on the high vacuuming pump to measure the pore size and pore volume. First, we should weigh a uh, empty sample tube with sulfate and filler rod in it. After adding sample into the sample tube, we should measure it again. And we should subtract the empty sample tube mass from this and put it in the computer. Uh, there are two parts in ACP 2020, and here is the first part where is we call it as degassing port, and we have two ports, so we can uh, degas two samples at the same time. Mm -hmm. And here is analysis port, so we can put. A sample tube in here, so we can uh, analyze what you want. Here is the sample tube, and we should put the nuts and o-ring in order of bigger things. So we should put this here, and then this here. Then put the o-ring like this. And in the degas port or analyst port, you can put this vertically and joint it well. Also, we should put heating mantle on the sample tube and put the clip on it. To activate the sample, we should evacuate the sample tube and heat it. So this heating mantle is used to heat the sample tube and the sample. To activate the sample, we should evacuate the solvent from the forest materials. And the method for that is vacuuming and heating. You can make the file from here, open sample information and we can input any name you want and click OK and here we should input the mass and we should uh, measure the mass before the preparation and after the preparation uh, and we can click here to put uh, other conditions or information files and save it. Uh, about the sample tube, you should click 
the isothermal jacket and if you use a filler road you should check here also for degas conditions you can input the conditions you want you want and you uh, usually replace this or this mm -hmm. also for analysis conditions you can put what you want to analysis and you can change the pressure you want to see mm -hmm. also here a lot of uh, things you can change mm -hmm. but usually you can use the reference yes right? yes so you can save it start the degas you should go into unit one start degas here we should clear the port you are not using and click browse to select what you're going to guess and you should uh, click start mm -hmm. to make the temperature same for all places in the sample tube we use isothermal jacket and we should put the jacket in the sample tube like this we should go on the same process to put the sample tube on the analysis port. So we should put the knots and then the o-ring. Also there is the a pin <laughs> on the analysis port so that the here uh, the pin goes in so that the gas goes into the sample tube. is a pressure tube that measures the pressure so you can move this close to the sample tube so that the dewer can go into both of the tubes and in the dewer you should put nitrogen liquid to uh, make the analysis to go on on uh, 77 Kelvin degree. Start the analysis you can go into unit 1 what you made for your information file and check one more time about your conditions. 